the housing crisis is something you, as well as Governor Maura Healey, have spoken about. You've both talked about using state land for building new housing. How confident are you that you can actually see that to fruition, that that will actually happen? Well, I think that first we need a great inventory of what state land is available, not being used, and work with our municipalities and, again, public-private partnership to ensure we can build more, more housing across the state, more affordable, more workforce, more supported housing. Uh, we, the Senate has really prioritized it. We have uh, over a billion dollars over this last year or so to put towards housing in all areas, and we've prioritized housing near the the MBTA stations, and, and this will continue to be a focus. We need to make sure people can live here uh, and thrive here. Do you have any examples of state land that could be used um, for housing? I, you know, I, I think, again, we need an inventory and, and to take a look because uh, some of it might be empty land or not being used, but there could be environmental issues, there could be ge you know, geographical issues that we need to make sure. So uh, I'm a little hesitant mm -hmm. in saying, not, not knowing, yeah. but I do know that there is vacant land across the state. Let, let's go through or not a, being used. Yeah. Not being used, right. Let, let's go through a couple things real quickly because we, we, there are a number of things we'd like to touch on. Because of the, okay. the surge in COVID cases, some schools have asked students and staff to wear masks. Again, it's not a mandate. They have suggested it. They recommend it. Could you see that happening at the State House? Yes. Yes. Now, we know you're not a huge fan of sports betting, but if revenues do come rolling in, could you see another case of a rebate for taxpayers because revenues are too high? If they're too high and the law says we, we have to give a rebate, certainly yes. Uh, I think, though, that uh, we'll have to see what happens. Which happens first? The MBTA gets its act together or train service to Western Massachusetts becomes a reality? Hopefully the MBTA gets its act together. And again, we have a, a new administration coming on board. There'll be new folks. Um, we have the federal investigation with some recommendations. We know a lot of what we need to do. We need to focus on safety. We need to uh, have some better oversight and accountability. So uh, I am hoping that that will happen in the near future. So you're hoping MBTA gets its act together. We'll have yes. it first. Go. Will Charlie Baker run for president? You'll have to ask Charlie Baker. You know, I have no idea. <laughs> you didn't share that in that private conversation between the two of you as he stepped in the long walk, right? <laughs> no. No, okay. <laughs> and and, and the, the last one in the line is we, we, we were talking about the constitutional office holders in the state. And there are women from top to almost bottom because there's Bill yes. Galvin. So can anyone bump Bill Galvin from his role as the only dude among the state's six congressional offices? Uh, I think when Bill decides it's time that he wants to go, that's when he'll go. He's a remarkable ho office holder. And yes, he, he's, he's got tremendous staying power. Yes, he, he does. does. He definitely and, does. And takes he remarkable. Does, and he does a great job. Well, he even even during the, in the in the swearing in of, of Governor Healy, he was very careful. He signed here, signed here. He's very meticulous yes, when he went yes. through the step by step process. Yes, you were watching. Yes. Yeah, well, yeah, it's, yeah. it's <laughs> watching to that detail. Yes, he is. And we want a secretary of state that is very meticulous, too. Madam President, thank you for your time. And thank at what you. point do you stop saying Happy New Year? It's January 8th. At what point it's, do you stop saying Happy New Year? Keep saying it. Keep saying yeah, it. All right. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. <laughs> it's great Happy to healthy. see you. It's great, great to see you both.